this video, we're going to learn about solution stoichiometry, which is exactly like all the other stoichiometry you've done, in that you're always converting to moles of one thing, and then figuring out how many moles of something else you need, or how much you're going to make, how much you're going to use, or anything like that. And then the branches at the end are what change a little bit. So we're used to going from either grams of something to moles, or going from liters of a gas and using the ideal gas law, or 22.4 liters per mole if you're at SDP. That's for solids and gases. Now we're going to talk about solutions. So the way we describe solution concentration is usually molarity, which tells us how many moles of something we have per liter. So if we were approaching a solution stoichiometry problem where we're just making calcium carbonate, which is a solid product from two aqueous solutions, sodium carbonate, calcium chloride. Sodium chloride is going to result in spectator ions, which are just floating around in solution at the end. So if we had 35.2 mils of 0.25 molar, this means moles per liter, sodium carbonate reacted with 23.2 milliliters of 0.35 molar calcium chloride. And I ask you how many grams of calcium carbonate you're going to make. So how we approach this is just the same way we would any other limiting reactant problem. So we have a certain amount of each of the reactants. Now, the difference is in this time we're going from liters of solution we're going to use the molarity as a conversion factor, so we have moles of sodium carbonate per liters of sodium carbonate solution to get us the number of moles of sodium carbonate. So that's how we get to moles. That's the only thing that's really changed fundamentally. Then we do the same thing with the calcium chloride, and we see the number of moles of calcium chloride we have. Then, since this is all a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio, so you get one mole of calcium carbonate for one mole of sodium carbonate, so we're able to produce 0.0081 moles of calcium carbonate which would be our theoretical yield in moles. To figure out what that would weigh in grams, we just multiply by the molar mass, which is 100, and we see that from the mixture of these two solutions, you should be able to make 0.81 grams of calcium carbonate. So everything else is really the same, except how you get to moles, right? Now, one other little twist that can occur in a solution stoichiometry problem is when I ask you to calculate the amount of excess reactant. So typically when we're calculating excess reactant, um, you can kind of just figure out how many grams you have and stop there, or how many moles you have and then go to grams and stop there. With this, since we're going to be describing um, the concentration of an ion present, we have to also incorporate the volume to calculate the molarity. So a question I would ask you, what is the concentration of carbonate ions remaining in the solution? So we can see that the sodium carbonate was our excess reactant. It didn't run out. So we're going to have some left over of that. So what we do is the same thing as before. We know that we use up this many moles of calcium chloride. So from that, we can figure out how many moles of sodium carbonate we use, which is the same number of moles because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Now we take what we started with and subtract what we used and figure out that we only have 0 0.0007 moles of sodium carbonate remaining. Now, since we're looking for a particular ion, we would have to then take this additional step of saying, you have one carbonate ion for every formula unit of sodium carbonate. And we still, because it's a one-to-one -one ratio, have a 0 0.0007 moles of carbonate ions. Now, to calculate the concentration of it, you have to realize that molarity is moles per liter. So you plug in the number of moles that we had. Now, to find the volume, we mixed two solutions. One was 35.2 mils and one was 23.2 mils. When we add up those volumes together, you get 58.4 milliliters. So that's your total volume of solution. Converting that to liters, that's 0 0.0584 liters. So the concentration, since we only have one sig fig, for the carbonate ions remaining would be 0 0.001 moles per liter for the carbonate ion. 